from the most exclusive resort all the way to the most affordable stay in Siargao, we've got six different accommodations for different types of travelers. Our goal here is to help you find the right one for your inevitable trip to the most beautiful island in the Philippines, Siargao. In terms of price, we'll be showcasing stays for as cheap as 750 pesos per night all the way to 25,000 pesos per night. And I'm telling you guys that that price point is very well justified. And I'll show you guys why. So all these accommodations are located across General Luna because it's the main tourism hub for Siargao. So Siargao is the surfing capital of the Philippines. And the most popular place here is probably the Cloud9 surfing area. And our first resort is a 5-minute walk away called Emerald House. I think that this place is just the perfect starting point for me and my friends as it really gives away that surfer village vibe. <laughs> and I'm not kidding when I say surfer village because this place is composed of different individual houses that you can rent per night or for longer term stays. Most rooms have air conditioning and some have electric fans. The rooms here are all very distinct depending on what house you'll be choosing but every single house is designed to have Swiss quality comfort inspired by our very own Bahay Kubos constructed with local materials with a heavy emphasis on preserving the environment. This whole place is just a jungle village with all that greenery so it's very peaceful and secluded within all these trees. While Emerald House is still pretty underrated, the next one we'll be showing you is a very new accommodation that it's not even open to the public yet when we stayed there. But another thing that we really like about this place is the spa. The masseuses are very well trained and you can even get a massage here at the top of this tower for an amazing view. They also have their own restaurant and quick tip, make sure to wake up early for the naan bread because they run out pretty quickly. So how much does it cost to stay here in Emerald House? Now the cheapest room here is at 2,900 pesos per night for two. So that's already a bargain but you can definitely save up more money if you are in groups of four or more. I'll provide links in the description so that you guys can look at the selection of houses. They also offer huge discounts for monthly or weekly stays. And our next resort is Sadhana. And this is a real hidden gem. This one is located just a few blocks away from Emerald House, so it's also near Cloud9. And like Emerald House, this one is nestled within the palm trees which makes it another serene and quiet stay. Now, Sadana is an Airbnb type of accommodation with only a handful of rooms that look like very modern tropical villas. This one is a more minimalist accommodation with the basic necessities for every traveler. The rooms are simple and the bed is just huge and comfy with its silky smooth linens. But what makes this an absolute dream is the comfort rooms. You have an open shower so you can really feel one with nature. And if you watched my other resort videos, you would know how much I love open showers. I'm pretty sure that I want something like this in my own house. They have a TV here which I didn't find in the other resorts which might be a consideration for some of you. While these two accommodations are a little bit more low-key, the next one is really out there and very popular across Siargao. But the question is how much does it cost to stay here? Now I have to be honest with you guys here, I'm not sure because upon recording this video the place is not yet open to public but i promise you guys that i'll update you guys in the description box once this place is open and i'll include the prices and links as well now for the next one we'll be moving down south towards the heart of general luna kermit surf resort A big part of why this place is very popular is this. 
But let's start with the rooms with what looks like a very comfortable bed. But I wouldn't really know because this is where I slept, which was already pretty comfy for me. We had a lot of space even though we were already three people in that room. Air conditioned and very cold, perfect for the summer days. The internet here is very strong, they use Starlink and something about Chargao that you have to know is that the electricity sometimes goes off a couple times per week. But don't worry because Kermit has a generator so that won't be a problem. Kermit I think is the most holistic resort in our list. They host yoga sessions, they have parties every month or so, and their surf community here is very unique because even though almost all resorts here can provide surf lessons or redirect you to an instructor, Kermit has a more lively community. They even have boodle fight sessions with the surfers here which was really fun to be a part of. And another highlight for Kermit is of course their pizza. Their restaurant is one of the popular ones in Chargao. They claim to be the best Italian restaurant in Chargao, so make sure to try it here. According to my friends, the drinks here are also very top-notch and value for money. And speaking of value for money, for those of you who are really trying to cut your costs, the next one we'll be showing is the most affordable one in our list. And with all that said, how much does it cost? to stay here in Kermit. So before we reveal that, just a quick segue because somebody asked me in my previous video, are you a digital nomad? Yes and no. So yes, I do get to travel to all these beautiful places and resorts and work remotely. But my home base is really here in Manila. And when I'm out there showing you all these great places, I can feel confident that our home is safe because of this. This is a smart lock by Yale, which has a lot of advanced features like fingerprint access, RFID key tag access, automatic locking, and alarms when someone tries to break in, and so much more. So if you want to travel and feel secure at the same time, check out Yale's smart locks. But going back, to Kermit rates. The price here starts at around 4,600 per night, so you have to check out their website for more info. And our next one is Paradiso Hostel. This is a few blocks away from Kermit, and these two accommodations are really situated in the most lively part of General Luna, and you're nearby a lot of good food options and parties. Now this one is a hostel, which means that the beds here are in this capsule type shared air-conditioned room. But don't worry because the beds here are very sturdy. It's not like your typical bunk bed where you can feel all the vibrations of your roommate from above. And the people here are super, super friendly. So if you're a solo traveler and maybe you want to just engage with other tourists, this might be the best bet for you. But if you're not comfortable with sharing with other people, they also have private rooms here. They have a kitchen where you can cook. So really, this is the most cost-efficient place in our list. The internet here is decent and there's a lot of dogs here. So that's a plus point for all you dog lovers out there. But for all of you dog haters, don't watch this video. <laughs> Just kidding. I need you to watch this video. Don't go away. So these accommodations are situated in a lively area. But if you want a more quiet and serene stay, our next resorts will be perfect for you. But before that, the main question here is how much does it cost to stay here if this is really the most affordable one in our list? So the prices here start at around 750 pesos for the shared room and 2,500 for the private room. So even if you get the private room, it's still very affordable. Now a few minutes away is a relaxing haven for people who are more like me want a little more peace and quiet. The Luyong Beach Resort. The Luyong is situated in the middle of Cloud9 and Kermit. That's why this one is a little more secluded without being too far away from the main activities in Chargao. Another advantage that this place has is that it has direct access to the beach. So now let's go to the rooms. And at this point, I have to be honest with you guys. After reviewing more than 30 resorts, I'm running out of new ways to say how cozy and comfortable and spacious the rooms are. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm not lying to you guys because it really is cozy and comfortable here in the Luyong. They all have necessary amenities that you'd expect from a high quality resort or hotel. And the rooms usually come with a nice view of the pool and the beach. They have this cute little pool where you can take pictures and a nice spacious garden that creates a peaceful oasis 
for relaxation and contemplation. They have two restaurants, one on the rooftop with a mini bar and another one below for the breakfast meals. The staff here very very friendly and of course, you can ask them for assistance if you need surf lessons or tours to be booked for you or your group. And I hope that you guys are still watching because the next one is the most exclusive and expensive resort in our list. But before that, how much does it cost to stay here in Daluyong? Now upon checking online, the prices here start at around 6,000 pesos per night and I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out. Now, finally for our last resort, Tao de Libertad. Now this one, let's start with the price because I already revealed it early on in this video. This place costs 24500 per night to stay here. But, yes, there's a big but. It's only 24.5k per night for the whole resort. Because here, you can't really book individual rooms. You really have to rent the whole place. Which means that this resort is really catered for big groups of family or friends. But in our case, we are two strangers in this resort. So if you wanna know why I'm here with a stranger, you have to watch our previous video. Now, this place is located a few minutes away from Cloud9. And that is why this is the most quiet resort in our list. This place is designed with a very zen-like manner. It has a minimalist vibe promoting a peaceful retreat for everyone who visits. The rooms here are not air-conditioned as they are really promoting sustainability, but the rooms here are designed to be very well-ventilated and super windy, especially with the wide balcony doors open. They have six bedrooms with a 10-person capacity, but you can add more people for a specific fee. They have a lot of comfort rooms. They have one upstairs and more downstairs along with the showers. And what I like here is the open kitchen which we really took advantage of. So you can buy some ingredients in the market and have a feast here. The outside garden is very huge and the best part here is you have access to the beach. So this place really has that retreat vibe where you can have an amazing time with great company. But if you think about it, 25K for around 10 people, that's like 2,500 per person per night. So really, that's not bad at all for an exclusive and private stay here. Aside from the resorts that we showed you guys, we'll also be sharing our experience during our trip to Shargao, from the essential tours to the underrated tours that not a lot of tourists know about. And of course, we have to talk about Shargao food. Talk to me, There's so many good food here in Shargao, so we really have to talk about that. So catch us again in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope that this helped you choose the right one for your stay to the most beautiful island in the Philippines, Shargao. And once again, join us as we travel the Philippines with purpose. Maraming salamat at paalam. When my work is done.